there's been some major updates in the AI video world recently. With the most recent One 2.1 model from Alibaba producing some absolutely incredible results. These are some of the best image to video generations I've seen so far. So I decided to compare it to Kling AI and Hilo's Minimax, which I think are the other two best AI video generators right now. We'll take a deep dive into what's different between the different video generators, how they handle different elements like generating human emotions, or how they respond to specific camera motions in the prompts. I'll show you why One 2.1 could become the best AI video generator, and I'll also do a price breakdown at the end. The comparisons will be done using image to video, where a reference image is uploaded and an AI video is generated using the prompt. The first thing I wanted to test is how well they can animate human emotions, which are super important for storytelling. Starting with Kling AI, which has been the best platform for a while now, I prompt for specific facial features like wide eyes and a subtle smile, and the AI video pretty much gets everything right. You can clearly see her eyebrows raise up and her eyes get wide. Here I tried an unhappy expression of contempt, one thing you'll notice is that sometimes the characters are animated speaking, even though I didn't ask for it in the prompt, she still talks. Here's another emotion of surprise. He covers his mouth in shock. It does a pretty good job here. Now let's see what the One 2.1 model can do. To run the model I used FAI.ai, but it's an open source model and you can run it on your own machine. You'll notice that these videos are at a lower 16 FPS frame rate, so they can look a bit choppy. However, it's pretty easy to just increase the frame rate using flow frames. I'll put a link in the description for a tutorial on how to do that for free. The videos I'm showing for One 2.1 have all had their frame rates increased to make them look a little smoother. If we compare it to Kling, the results are really nice and high quality. However, for this woman, you'll see her eyes don't follow the prompt as closely in the One model. I asked for the eyes to widen and the eyebrows to be raised, but One 2.1 doesn't animate that correctly. For the example showing contempt, I asked for her eyes to narrow. Again, Kling does a better job of following the prompt. I didn't notice One 2.1 having the issue of animating people speaking or talking. They tend to keep their mouths closed for the most part, as long as you don't prompt for talking. Here's an example where One actually worked better than Kling. In the prompt, I said furrowed eyebrows to show a suspicious facial expression. And in the one video generation, you clearly see him scrunching his eyebrows, while in clean his eyebrows stay flat and are much less expressive. So how good the results are kind of vary depending on the image. Now let's take a look at what Hyloa's Minimax can do. The main issue you'll run into with Hyloa is it really likes to animate people talking all the time. And they usually speak super fast. I get a lot of comments about this, it can be pretty annoying. And sometimes the emotions can look a little overly expressive, in my experience. Although for this suspicious look, it does a good job, and it shows the clenched jaw fully. Now let's test out some different full body movements to see what they can do. I prompt for her to pick up a bouquet of flowers and spin around while dancing. Kling gives more motion than Hailoa, where they're spinning a few different times, while Hailoa's video is more static. In both of them, the flowers have a little bit of blurring, You'll notice that sometimes where you try to introduce new elements into the video. One 2.1 is really impressive when it comes to natural movements. The patterns and details stay sharp, even when she's moving all over the place. The flowers kind of appear out of nowhere though and just warp into her hand. But if you look at the clean video, the movement of picking up the flowers looks way more natural. One of the most important aspects of directing AI films is controlling the camera motion. Kling's pretty good at this. You can combine multiple different movements like zooming out and also rotating around the subject. We can pan and follow the spirit creature as she walks through a field and then zooming on her picking up a flower. Unfortunately, the One 2.1 model is not really that good at camera motions based on what I tried. It's possible that I'm not using the right prompts, since it's a really new model. But even super simple motions like panning or zooming don't seem to work when you prompt for them. It's not to say that it never creates camera movement. Sometimes it can, but the results aren't always good when it does. Here the spaceship transforms into something totally different in the wall model. As far as camera motion, Hailoa probably has some of the most control you can get right now. They released a new director mode recently, which lets you insert a bunch of different camera motions into different parts of your prompt. So you can recreate just about any camera movement you can think of. This is a really great feature that does set them apart a bit. 
The main weakness of Hailua compared to the others though, is that the sharpness of the detail sometimes just isn't there. You'll see the background blurring in some instances when you add in the motions. Look closely at the flowers in this field, there's so much blurring, you can barely make out the shapes of the individual flower petals. Here's what the 1 2.1 video looks like. Still some blurring, but the details are sharper for sure. The flower petals are way more visible. And this is what clean looks like. It's got the highest resolution. It's not perfect if you look at the small details around the flowers, but it's way sharper than what Hailua gives. So while Hailua has really great camera control, you do lose a bit on the sharpness of the detail. I wanted to see how the different AI video platforms would perform when trying to introduce some more creativity into the animations. I asked for this hand to write the word prompt on the wall. Clean kind of just scribbles around drawing random shapes with the light. There's not any real English letters that are written. Hailua does write the correct word, although it looks like some kind of an LED sign, instead of maintaining the consistent style as the rest of the scene. The hand motion is also very jittery. This happens often in Hailua videos, sometimes you get these fast jittery movements. 1 2.1 is kind of in between. It does write down some letters that sort of look close to the word prompt. You can make out a few P's and O's in there, but the spelling isn't totally correct. I also tried introducing lots of new characters into the scene, like the Skeleton Knights. One and Kling both do a good job of preserving the original visual style. Kling especially have some pretty good movement with their crawling motions. I will struggle some more here. The new editing skeletons don't really match the visual style as the environment, and they kind of just look out of place. I think working with different visual styles is one of 1 2.1's strong suits. You can animate a variety of different videos and prompts using them. As far as the cost breakdown goes, 1 2.1 is open source, so you can run it for free you'll need around 8GB of VRAM. But to run it on a website like file.ai, it costs around 40 cents for a 5 second video. Halua has an unlimited plan on the website, but for the cheaper plans it costs 23 to 33 cents. Kling doesn't have an unlimited plan unfortunately, and also costs around 33 seconds for a 5 second video. Right now I think Kling is still the best AI video generator, but with the amazing quality that 1 2.1 has, it could be a close competitor soon, especially if people can figure out how to get better camera controls using it. If you want to learn how to use Kling to create cinematic AI films, go watch this tutorial right there.